These are mushrooms. Uh, sir, are you? What are you doing it's to so the sink? Let's go. What? What? Okay, good morning, Dan Dan. Hey, good morning. <laughs> so I want to show Stephanie something because we told Dan Dan that um, we're going to be there for a few days, okay? And I said, Dan Dan, bring a couple outfits, bring, bring some change of clothes at night. Um, so anyways, oh. I'm just going to get Stephanie. Babe, I want you to see something cool. Really cool. Good morning! Yeah. You look cute! So these are our stuff. Dan Dan, bring, bring your stuff over. <laughs> Why? Why is my mom laughing at that? <laughs> Bro, why are you no, bringing so much? You told me to bring like five outfits. Bro, five outfits. Five outfits. Okay, so three outfits. Yeah. And then three change of clothes at home and at an, night. And an extra pair just in case it rains and you get wet and we come to the hotel in the middle. Yikes. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> what are we gonna do? I thought it was like jam packed. I just okay. Let's see it. <laughs> Of course he packed this. Look at that. I think we might need to do something. Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to today's vlog. I made a promise to myself that this trip is going to be carefree. I'm not going to be that paranoid because we got a group of four, okay? You hear about single people getting kidnapped. You hear about couples getting kidnapped. Do you hear about four idiots getting kidnapped? <laughs> not today. Not in New York City, I tell ya. When I'm gone for three days, there's only a couple things I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss my mom. I'm gonna miss the dogs. Maybe I'll miss the house. But most importantly, no offense, Emma. I'm gonna miss HelloFresh. So I thought about packing it, you know? Just like you packed all of... Listen, I don't even know what you packed, okay? We'll go through that in a minute. I know it sounds wild, but I'm telling you, it just hits different when you have a home-cooked meal that's steaming hot, on the plate, right on your dinner table, just ready to eat. They've got chicken ramen with shoyu broth. Ooh, my fiance made for me and Dan Dan the mushu pork. It was so delicious, it was so warm. The way that it just like melted in your mouth, the flavor blast. I'm hungry. <laughs> they also have turkey ragu gnocchi, which, okay, listen, I know I'm kind of saying that wrong, but they have so many fun seasonal recipes. For those of you that don't know my obsession with HelloFresh, let me tell you, they're America's number one meal kit for a reason. If you're looking for a home-cooked meal that's warm on the table too, maybe impress yourself, your significant other, your family members, or just to eat a little bit better, eat at home a little bit better, HelloFresh is the way to go because normally this is what I would do. I would look up a recipe online, I would drive to the grocery store, buy the groceries, come back, portion out the ingredients, and then cook my meal. I wouldn't get dinner on the table for at least three days. Now with HelloFresh, they have so many different recipes to choose from every single week. They got family friendly, calorie smart, pescatarian, vegetarian, whatever you're looking for, delivered straight to your door. The ingredients are pre-portioned so there's way less food waste. And honestly, I've just been trying a lot more different foods. I love it. My fiance is obsessed with cooking HelloFresh, but so is Andrew. This is a picture he sent me of meatballs that he made from HelloFresh, okay? He was so proud. They even have that quick and easy 20 minute meals. And now side note, you can actually take them for lunch if he makes them extra. That's just a pro tip, okay? And you also save 25% compared to just getting all your ingredients at a grocery store. When you go to hellofresh.com slash missmangobud14, you get up to 14 free meals plus three free gifts. That's hellofresh.com slash Miss Mango Bud 14 for up to 14 free meals and three gifts. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring today's video. And let's go to the yard! <laughs> okay, but first, let's eat breakfast and fix your bag, bro. So oh. Tiffany's coming in like 10 minutes. Okay. okay. Let's okay, see okay. how much she packed. If she packed more than you, you bring your purple, purple bag. He does dress up a lot, right? Yeah, she does. You can oh. take off your jacket and your backpack and your vest oh. and your sweatshirt. Your under Wait, oh, bro. Okay, so he's got a backpack on. Then you got a vest on. What? <laughs> yeah, what? what? Are you going okay. to Alaska? What's going on here? Bro, I am It's the same weather wearing... in New York as here. <laughs> I'm going to be cold at the north. Bro, this is why he's going to Mars and not Mars. <laughs> My mom called me at the bakery and was like, hey, what do you want? And I said, something with sausages. They usually have like a sausage bell pepper. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's yeah. like a pizza. But yeah. she got me this. <laughs> <laughs> she got me. She, oh, she said there wasn't there. Instruction uh -huh. unclear. Yeah. Is it good, at least? You should microwave it. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Dan Dan's stuff. Wow. Yep, yep, yep. What do you have to say for yourself? 
<laughs> Mom donated a, a, a suitcase. So we're gonna go over these. Oh. Danette, what are you gonna do with this? Let's take that off. What are you gonna do with Wait, this? Wait, why? And it's gonna this. be cold. He can take Ooh. that. You're gonna look like Panda. You look Wait good. Wait a minute. You look good, honey. Oh. Honey, you look good. My mom is just <laughs> taking over right now. My mom's like, okay, this kid needs Not help. How many clothes? You have like at least six, right? Five or six. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Like 10, okay. Then, then, why did you fold it like this? Yeah, I did. This is you folding? Yeah. I don't think I need. Bro, everything this. fits though. Just the jacket doesn't fit. Perfect. Bro. Bro. Are like, you kidding? Are you kidding me? Like, he brought that size suitcase. So for he what? was gonna try to fucking pay. How much is it for the first carry on? Like, it's 70? free, honey. It's free. Ah, okay. Well, I guess Den Den is fiscally smart. <laughs> but my earrings are yes style. Here's a backpack, too. Huh? You're such an oma, thank you so much. You're such an oma. <laughs> my, uh, Can you be my, my oma? oma. Oh oma, oma, my oma. god! Whoa. Whoa! You look good! Are you kidding? How does it feel? I feel like a, a businessman. You feel like a B businessman? Bi <laughs> Alright, we gotta go. Kids. Oh, okay. We gotta go, wait, kids. wait! I have to poop. <laughs> okay, go poop now! You okay. have like T minus two minutes. Okay, <laughs> Yogi, Yogi, Yogi. Run! Run! We're at the airport now, and let me show you guys. Uh oh, someone lost a hat. Wow, they have this at the Atlanta airport, and you can it's hear it. They're like playing the sounds of uh, the birds. Do you hear the noises? Wow. We're like a little squad of people right now. Oh, this is a tall escalator. So, it's so hot, and this is the world's thickest sweater. So I'm gonna try to throw this on without going to the bathroom. I used to do this when I was like in the locker rooms, you know? All the girls do that. All the girls do yes. that? Yeah, all the girls. It's a talent, I tell you. It's girls' talent. And, ta-da! Yeah. Wow. Ah! Wow, that's cool. That's so hot. How do you like it? It's pretty cozy. Dennis, it feels the same. <laughs> Instead of three seats, we got two big seats. I feel like a... Uh, Businessman. Uh. <laughs> okay, we just got off the plane and now we're waiting for our Uber and it's freezing cold. I had to put on my sweater again. Wow. And I think my fiance is the only one that slept the whole time. We were watching <laughs> Marvel's Black Widow. <laughs> you guys didn't sleep? No. Wow. Are you kidding me? Mm -mm. Guys, it's actually freezing. Are you not cold? Can I give them an outfit of the day? Because you look so cute. You look so cute. What are those pants? I love those pants. She's lovely. She's going to make us all look like losers. And she's matching her mask. Are you kidding? Wow. Are you I like us. You're I matching. Know. I'm always you matching. Them. You Every look good. Matching. Every day you're matching. Match really? Yeah, really? Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing. But I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking. We're here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. I'm amazed. <laughs> Stephanie doesn't know how to use it. Flash, so tap it, and then press 37. There we go. <laughs> you have to scan your key first. You know, I, I, it will turn green, oh, I think. Is it not Can I help green? You? Yes, of course. Okay, now it's green. Oh! No. Come on, honey. Listen, I am embarrassed. Okay. <laughs> you should be embarrassed. Whoa. Holy cow. Whoa, this carpet is so nice. Holy cow. I'm kind of nervous. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Okay. <laughs>
Oh god. my god. Oh, no. Look at the so shower. Wow. The mirrors are perfect for makeup, Tiffany. Holy you cow. and I are going to have a good time. Oh, that's a toilet. But, oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, wow, this is so cozy. Oh my god, look at this closet here, honey. Whoa, it's, Whoa, it's automatic shades. It's turning on right now. Wow. Wow, this room is so cozy too. Oh my, whoa. Look at this building. Bro, this is, this is some, wow. Holy cow. This is too nice. A lot of oh my god, I can shower and you can see me. What? Look, honey, go to the room. Oh. Ready? Hold on. Whoa. Ah, your shadow is really creepy. This is the beginning of a horror movie. Uh, honey, honey, that's really creepy. So Holy. let's just give you guys a better tour from the get-go because I don't know if my fiance did a good job. We've got the entrance so. right here with an entryway. It feels like an apartment. It feels like a real, like, am I a New Yorker? Am I living here? This lamp is so pretty. So the coffee the is The couch is so yeah, cute. Yeah. Is this a safe? Wow, so we can get a lot. Oh. <gasps> That's might not be free. Look at this light. We've got a TV, an LG TV. Come on, Korea, represent <laughs> yeah, it. Sure. Yes. So in this drawer, Tiffany, shall we try a Dr. Laura de vegan? She's de vegan. Gold collagen mask. Wow, oh, they've got this? skincare. Oh, oh, Seawater not... minerals to support cell renewal. To use, consume on an empty stomach 10 minutes before eating. Lilo, hashtag not spawn, but like nice to see you here, bitch. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, well, let's just sweet. turn uh, that one around because we got a kid here. Wow, there's an eye mask, sex oil, that's some skincare, CBD oh, cream. Wow. Oh, snack bar. Oh my, oh my gosh. I'll never be hungry now. Bro, they're gonna charge us $5 million for this. Oh, you got a chart? Oh. Yeah. Damn. So this is the shower, which they have really good. I didn't even bring shampoo and conditioner, which you guys know I'm like crazy about bringing my own shampoo and conditioner, but they have the body cleanser. They've got AM and PM, so that's different. Uh, sir, are yeah. you, what are you doing it's to so the sink? Clean. What are you doing to the sink? Leave the sink alone, sir. Oh! Oh, yoga mat. Yoga yeah. mat. Yeah, this is so cool. Even yeah. the mirror makes me look cool. Like, I'm so happy. I look fit already. Okay, then we go this way to the bedroom with two beds. And then we've got a little seating area. This one overlooks the shower. This is cute. Wow. Oh, what is this? Alkaline water. Okay, well, I'm going to drink it. I'm so thirsty. Really? Yeah. I mean, it looks free, doesn't it? Yeah. Let me see if it tastes different, yeah? It's different. Dan Dan's taking picture of everything. Yeah, Dan Dan, why, why do you take yeah. picture like a dad? Can I just tell you, when we're in the Uber, Dan Dan is taking picture of everything. Not even the city. I mean, it was like the highway. He's like, I gotta take a picture. <laughs> I'm like, the highway? Like, I was taking pictures too, but like, when I saw the city come in. But he was like, yeah, f this fucking highway, dude. This is a New York highway. And then we have... Another exit with a little stand, oh. an emergency exit, and then another bathroom. I can't wait till I shower today. Yeah, it's gonna be so nice. So I think Tiffany and I are gonna get ready. Once I get ready, I'm gonna give you guys like a more proper tour, give you guys a little what I'm wearing for the day, all of that jazz before we head out. But what are you guys gonna do? I'm ready, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I've been ready. Let's go. What? what? Dude. <laughs> Skin is a wreck. I just, um, I put on a little bit of like, I think like a cushion compact. I'm trying not to wear as much foundation, even though some might think that that's straight up foundation. The next step of this, I'm gonna try to keep it as light as possible. So this is the Equinox Hotel in New York. We've never been here before. By the time you guys see this, we won't be here. Not that anybody cares, okay? But I know some people are gonna be like, for your safety, just be sure. Continuing on. This was actually recommended by um one of our like bougiest friends that we know. I mean, this, I love her to death and it's crazy because she's, doesn't 
doesn't seem bougie at all. Like if you met her, I mean, you could tell she's dressed to the tents. She's always well kept. She has this beautiful, like glassy looking skin. She looks way younger than her years. She's like in her thirties and I'm like, what? I swear to God, last time I remembered you were like 27. Why do I think you're still in your twenties? What the heck is going on? Anyways, continuing 18, 18. on. Yeah, I'm like, you look 18. You're right, you're right. I'm like, are you legal? Should I be hanging out with you? <laughs> so she's like one of our bougiest friends. She's probably done, out of anyone I know personally, like the craziest things in the world. Like she's been on a private plane to Paris. I'm just saying, she's really been around the world. She's seen some hotels. She's been to the Maybe nicest places. Makeup, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she kept telling us, when you go to New York, like fork the four seasons. If you want like that crazy experience, that modern experience, you need to go to the Equinox Hotel. So I was like, okay. I mean, we, we've been to the gym before. We used to be members when, you know, back then when I used to work out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> before we moved, we used to be members. So I'm sure their hotel is just as nice. Wow. It's so nice. <laughs> it's so nice. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. so nice, oh. honey. <laughs> you know that this hotel, that is what I've been meaning to tell you about because last night we found out that we're going to the Equinox Hotel. Keep doing makeup. Okay. You gotta go. Okay, sorry. So last night we found out that we're coming to the Equinox don't Hotel. Stop, okay? And Dan don't slow down. I don't want to see you slow down. <laughs> okay. And Dan Dan was like, oh wow, the, like is that anywhere near this building that I wanted to go to, which is called the Vessel? And I was like, oh, let me look it up. And here's the crazy thing: I'm looking at pictures of the hotel, and I freaking see the Vessel in view from the hotel. Where's so apparently right this hotel, yes, it was right there, and it's in front of the pool. So if you go to the outdoor pool, the Vessel is right there. And Daniel was like, that's so cool. And I need to tell you why it's not so cool. So the vessel was opened up as like a tourist attraction. It's like a 16 floor open concept type of building where you essentially just walk all the way up the 16 floors to the top and then walk back down. There's not really stores inside. There's not really anything to do. It's really one of those places where you go to see the view. Like it's a tourist trap, right? It's which, like an exercise. Yeah, thing, right? which nothing is wrong with that. But because of the way that it was architecturally designed, I mean, it's not really a warm, beautiful place. Does that make sense? It's kind of a cold, dark, concrete structure where all you see around it are just concrete concrete buildings. Inside is just like a hole to the bottom and it's more like a fishbowl. So it gets smaller and smaller and smaller as you get to the ground. Are we gonna go? No, because it's closed because wow. in the past two years, four people have committed suicide. Are you serious? The youngest being 14 years old. They closed it down? Yes, they tried to reopen multiple times and here's the crazy thing. I mean, I'm sure some very rich person opens it, which is the most annoying part of all of this, is that they closed it after the last one and the way that they fixed it, because the railings are lower than your waist, all the way up to the 16th floor. What? And there's actually experts who study architectural design and how it affects like human mentality and human mental states and they said that their speculation is, first of all, the railings. If you can prevent something, it's less likely to happen, obviously. If people don't have the means to do something like dangerous, they won't do it. So they said the railing needs to be raised. I mean, if it's for the view, you could just do glass like a lot of other New York City view places. Is that not right? So they were mentioning that, and on top of that, they were saying it's not a very life-affirming place. All you see is just concrete buildings. You feel really small when you go in there no matter how happy you are. Like it's just one of those places where it doesn't really evoke these, wow, life is really just content and happy. I mean, it's like this concrete- That's true. That's what they were saying. That's why they said that uh, there's other places like the, I forgot what they named, like something the Getty, but it has the similar railings, but it's filled with greenery. It's filled with a lot of, and they have way less uh, rates of, Huh. Yeah, so they're saying there's a lot to do with that. So the first time that they closed down the place, okay, sorry. So the last time that they closed down the place, I think is early in 2021, they decided that in order to prevent people from jumping, they were going to charge a $10 admission, so they were gonna make money off of it, and then you couldn't come alone. You had to come with a friend, like a buddy system. But there was a 14-year-old, I believe in June, who came with his entire family, and he was seen by security guards just having a great time with his younger sister, just jumping around, running around the whole place, and then uh, he ended up taking his own life. So that's a very sad story behind the vessel in which why it doesn't really evoke. I mean, I think if I didn't know the backstory, because Dan Dan had no idea the backstory. I think if I didn't know, I would be like, wow, that's a beautiful building. But now it's closed again. I think they're trying to implement taller railings. I don't know why. That should be an easy fix for rich people. Just get, replace the railings, add in glass. I just have to add my glitter to my eyes.
And instead of adding the rhinestones, I'm gonna get this. This is a Korean brand called Colorgram. And I just add the big pieces. They have like big little sequins in here and I just try to add it to the four corners of my eyes. You know, I heard on TikTok that it makes people fall in love with you, you know? <laughs> what do you need that for? I'm already in love. Uh, no, you're no, not. You're right. <laughs> well, who are you trying to make fall in love? No, well, you're not. We, you're in love that? with me? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was actually thinking on the plane ride? I was scared of taking off and I wasn't sitting next to my fiance and Tiffany had noticed and she grabbed my hand during takeoff, right? Aww. And I'm like holding her hand and then I was thinking like, okay, I think on my day-to-day -day basis, I think of Tiffany as Tiffany. But then like when I was thinking about it in that moment, I was like, technically this is my future sister-in-law. And not everyone is lucky enough to have like such a good relationship with their future sister-in-law that they, it feels like friends. And then like you were with Dan Dan talking about freaking Shiba Inu, I tell you, okay? <laughs> it, right in front of us. And I was like, that's so cute too, because technically, you don't have to get along with my cousin. And I was like, that's kind of like, I, I don't appreciate it enough. I guess because I'm so used to it now, I'm like, honey, I'm, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Alright guys, it's time to go back Wait, to, oh, I forgot my go weight. back to Georgia. Okay. <laughs> Is everyone gonna come do an outfit of the day? Okay, so this is my outfit. It's a little bit, I wanted to say edgy, but is it? I like it. It's edgy. It's a little cool, right? Like, it's, it's a little unique. different. So I'm wearing a dress. I've got this little, I don't know what it is, like an under boot, little holding carrier, like a horse carriage. And then I've got a jacket from Verge Girl. My socks are, I think they're either Amazon or Free People. And then my rain boots. And that's my outfit. All right, Dan Dan. Come on in. Alright, these are my outfits. And if you guys are curious what where I got these, it's a secret. <laughs> what? Vince? Where'd you get your jacket? I don't know if people care. This? Alright, All right, babe, you're next. Oh yeah, that's wow. a good one. What is that? What is that? <laughs> Did you just do a model one? Okay, Tiffany, can I show them your outfit of the day? <laughs> she said, she said, mm, <laughs> Tiffany is our mom. Because she's masked us like three times. I don't know why I just tried to go out without a mask. So did Dan Dan and she's like, mm, mask? Thank okay, you. Yeah, mom. we would have forgotten. <laughs> he said, okay, mom. So we're about to leave for Chinatown right now. This is the worst lighting. Woo! Listen, this hotel is not YouTuber friendly. What is this lighting? We're about to leave for Chinatown. This is not the one in Flushing, right? No. 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 This is the one that's near here in Manhattan. We're gonna eat so much Chinese food. I think we're going to like, I don't know, 10 different restaurants because oh I wanna try a little bit of everything. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. How many restaurants do you think can fit in there? 10. Like 10? 10? Let's go. <laughs> that's the vessel that I was telling you about. It's literally right in front of the Equinox Hotel. And the railings, I mean, Ian, just from looking around the outside, you can tell that they're so low and the way that it's shaped, it really is like a fishbowl. <laughs> Why am I so angry about this building? I don't know. This is more like China, but 30 years ago. It's true that because Chinatown, they are not investing a lot of money oh, to build it. Oh, in New York. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, makes sense. So yes. this is... Can I take a picture with you? Yes, sure. <laughs> But that was so sweet. He actually watches us and he took a picture of us with, for his wife. She's really nice. I wish his wife was here. She sounds so cool. She was actually on the phone. Anyway, so we're in Chinatown. We're gonna be okay, trying out a bunch of different restaurants. What's the first place? Oh, this it's is so it. cute. Wow. Okay, it really does feel like I'm in yeah, Korea. Yeah, so these are like kind I love of like it. how we saw oh it. Oh my gosh. Korea is kind of like that too. <gasps> these are mushrooms. You know so we're passing is? by one of the so, markets. This is like sea cucumber. Oh, I had That's this at a cucumber? restaurant once. Sea cucumber. Sea oh. cucumber tastes really good. So this is what my fiance was talking about. Uh, <laughs> why'd you move back to the city? I don't know. I just really like the ambiance. Wow. <laughs> Your grandpa <laughs> would love <laughs> this. Last time I came here, yes. I felt so like uncomfortable. Uh -huh. I'm not kidding. I feel comfortable right, right? is it because you're also with family no isn't it more comfortable it feels safer i feel safer <laughs> i think my mom even had one of these wow, shops really back in the day <gasps> oh yeah. my god your mom used to have a shop yeah. you're like that's my mom i'm kidding <laughs> are those ginseng ginseng Ambiance. 
Oh, Danny, you want to go play some ball? I want to destroy them. You will destroy them, actually, you say? I'll actually. In New York, you think? No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, just them, right there. Just those three people yeah, right yeah. there. Just those three five-year-olds. No? You found the restaurant? Where, where, where? Which one? Oh, this one. It's called Hunan Hui Mian Guan. Yes! Let's go! Oh, that smell. Ooh. Ooh, smells good. So there's five to ten minutes wait, and we're just gonna walk around way outside. Dan, Dan, this yeah. is your one. What's this up? is the whole day. Okay. Your one job, your one duty, obviously. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. Oh my god. So oh my god. cute. Look at that. Was a, it was a rat. <laughs> so, your one goal all yeah. day today is what? Hold this umbrella. And not. Lose it. What's your success rate, you think? Success rate? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. I will quote you on I put $20 to say that he's gonna lose it. Our bet. Okay. Bet. Tiffany brought extra one. Just, Just in case. Yeah. yeah. So $20 bet that he's gonna lose the umbrella by the end of the night. Let's see how this goes. We're in a tiny hole in the wall. It's called... Oh, that was such good pronunciation. I don't even know. <laughs> so they've got this menu and they have like hand-pulled noodles. Let me give you some suggestion I see online. Okay. The first one is called Rou Jia Mo. It's like a bread meat in the pancake, like pancake meat. <laughs> meat stuffed pancake almost. Oh That's what it is. Okay, meat okay. stuffed pancake. Okay. And the second okay. one is that called is Da Pan Ji. Some kind of chicken, right? Yeah, they said it all tastes so good. What else? Okay. Let's get some like noodle, because they're yeah. a noodle, yeah, they noodle shop. Yeah. yeah. I brought a lot of these babies, okay? I heard, listen, I sound like such a tourist, but yes, apparently, you know, not most restaurants don't have restrooms, especially if you want to eat at the good restaurants, the hole in the walls, so we're sanitizing. Oh, you have sanitizing. Yes. Oh, I don't know why Dan Dan has this thing where every time these two speak in Mandarin, he just goes crazy. He's like, a fanboy. Okay, there was once they were just having a normal conversation. What was it about? It was a, it was about absolutely nothing. I think it was about food. And he's just bad. No, because I, I don't so get to see it so often. Yeah. First dish just arrived. We've never oh my gosh. Wow. Why does it look so good? Do we just grab a bite though? Oh, chili oil. Chili oil, yeah. I don't know how much to add. How much do you want to add? It depends on how much you guys can eat spice. Like, what kind of restaurant is this? It's Hunan. You know, like it's a region. Yeah. Hunan that you don't, you have no idea. <laughs> Should I mix it? These are clean chopsticks. Wow. <gasps> Okay, this looks so good. Listen, I don't even think I can wait. Okay. It's so good. The noodle is so tender. Oh, it's spicy. And this is the beef rou jia mo, the beef pancake. Oh, you You gotta try this. That's what they're so famous for. The beef is actually not so tender. Which oh, really? Is good, so there's texture. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa. So good. This is a Oh my god. What is this? It's a chicken. I don't know. It's called Da Panji. Like big play chicken. Oh my Yo, you gotta try it. Is it good? It doesn't even look good. <laughs> is it try good? this. Try this. It's perfect. Mm. Here, then, then, grab one. Which one's better? Oh, so good. This one's better? Oh so it's Tiffany that, like, did good. Human lamb it's good. Like, okay, let me try a piece of this chicken. Tiffany, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh my god. Is it good? <laughs> okay, this chicken is so good. I was expecting something like Korean takgalbi uh -huh. It's nothing like it. It's actually. This is something you can never get in Georgia. It's so like, good. For real. I don't even think I've had anything like this okay. in so years. Long. Yes. Yes. Why does it taste so good? So you guys are a fan of rou jia mo. This is the best out of all the dishes. Wow. This thing, pancake? It's the pancake. It's so warm, it's so crunchy. Mm. Oh my gosh! Does it taste like China? Yeah. Mm, oh my god. Oh my god, so good. I don't know which one's better. Is it good, Tiffany? Okay, we're gonna give scores, okay? Okay. This place, one to five. Five. Ten. No, I'm serious. You guys can't just do five, no, five. every every no, spot. I'm not exaggerating. Mm -mm. Like the five. Five. Mm. Wow. Are these like hand cut noodles? Mm. Seems like handmade. Gosh, so good. <laughs> Oh my god, 
길어지는 대화 속 정신 못 차린 입이 웃고 있어 모두 말해 내게 꿈결에 분명 실망할 테니 수빈 무의미에 네 매력은 또 변화구를 던져 가슈 그 누구보다 눈이 참 예뻐 Yeah you 그 누구보다 사랑스러워 Yeah you 찾아 헤매던 내 반쪽 I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Here's the concern that I never really thought about because I usually to go food and eat it at home is Listen, we're about to mask up again. It's about to be non-stop. You better love this smell. You better love the garlic. Because it's gonna get intense. I keep eating. All right, we got it to go. Oh, it's so hard to It's so eat. good. Thank you, sir. What a gentleman. Okay, that was so good. Now that I can kind of talk a little bit louder, oh. that was so good. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, mom. Yes, mom, where are we where going? Where are you guys going? You know, I don't know. I'm like yeah. chasing after you guys. <laughs> no, it really feels like Dan Dan and I are on a field we're trip. We're literally kids. <laughs> No, even when we got to the airport, I'm literally walking like I know where I'm going. And Tiffany's like, do you know where we're going? And I'm like, no idea. No idea at all. It's so windy. I'm not gonna lie. I have snot. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at all the lanterns. So pretty. So pretty. Look at those giant red balloons. Where? Wow. Battery. It's broken! <laughs>